Hello, my name is Sebastian Kotofana. I'm Associate Professor for Anatomy and Surgery at Albany Medical College. I'm the corresponding author of this paper termed Age and Gender Differences of the Frontal Bone, a CT-based study. In this study, we investigated the age-related changes of the frontal bone using computer tomography. We used a cross-sectional design and analyzed 157 individuals with an equal gender and age related distribution. So that means we had at the, for each decade, we had 10 males and 10 females, starting at the decade of 20, ranging up until the decade of 90. We found out, which was very surprising to us, that the changes of the forehead are much more complex than we expected. We tried to do mathematical models and infinite model element analyzes, but they turned out to be way too complicated to understand them even for us. This is why we decided to make clinically relevant marks and to break it down into clinically relevant um, regions. Like we looked at the upper forehead versus the lower forehead and we looked at changes of the frontal bone in the midline versus the vertical supraorbital lines. And we found that the changes are incredibly complicated in terms of their three-dimensional behavior. The upper forehead behaves different than the lower forehead and the midline behaves different than the lateral um, supraorbital lines. And this also differs between males and females. When you read the paper, you will see the tables are pretty extensive, but all of this has to be interpreted with caution. This is a cross-sectional study. That means we can just say that there are associations. We cannot claim there are any causal relationships. This is one of the things. The other thing is, is in the lower forehead, when we talked about the outer shape, we did not account for the frontal sinus. This frontal sinus, of course, influences the shape of the forehead. But due to the fact that the frontal bone predominantly determines the shape of the forehead, because the soft tissue coverage is that thin, we wanted to look just at the outer shape. So when you, when you look at the paper and try to understand and implement what the clinical changes are, you can say the forehead undergoes complex changes. Future studies will need to address long, in the longitudinal the changes of the forehead and I'm looking very forward to future studies in this uh, domain.